Hi there, in this tutorial of the JavaScript tutorial series, we are going to learn about the JavaScript fundamental. So we are going to learn this how mass type of the JavaScript fundamental and we will be explain a little bit of them. So here is the JavaScript fundamental, the first one, the variable, the variable, it means we can define a value of something else in the x, y, z, whatever we want to like. So we can define the variable of this the value about it and we can just connect that this variable, the data is about like x is variable. And we can import that variable for anywhere where we are going to using that our JavaScript. And this x part that is x valuable, that value that we have right. For example, x value we have right the three. So this value will be completely go there. So this is actually the variable. And then we are going to pro provide this the constant. So constant is basically which is forever true. So when you have providing some value for the constant, and it will be forever true. So it will be always where you are going to provide it. It's always the same department and this value is same always. And the data types is basically data types though you can write this the data types have some much more option for data types and there is object and much more so we're going to explain in the later and there is the object object is basically information of a subject that where you are going to subject for so for example if you are taking some person the person have hand move mouth nose and etc so this is basically object of the person and then arrays arrays also basically function of all the and then we are going to pay about this function. So function it will be work for the basically when you are going to working some of this department and this you are going to make them functionality dependence and everything. So that's for this that's work for the function and the conditional statement. And this is work basically for the true or false. And then the loops loops basically we can use for this the case for loops and we can make it some for loops while loops and do while anything else. So this is basically for the loop section when you are going to make some term and then it will be loop and will be the work for another one and then the next is swiss case the swiss case is basically dependent on for the different little bit of time so for example you are going to lifting you are using that lift so then the lift is always whenever you creating that you are pressing a key that which floor you are going to move it so this swiss case will be matched that first one for so there is have some one to ten digits so there is one to ten of this floor there's you have to just post about that so then the switch case will be the evidence that they have the break of every switch of the every number of key press you are making. So every presses they have some break. So it will be change the look about the value that while we are pressing that value that is. So if it the mass, then the switch case will be run the document. The data will be run. If it that is not mass, so then it will be checked for the next step. So this is basically about the JavaScript fundamental. So in the from the next video, we are going to explain that everything in practical and everything about this. The variable constant data type object arrays function conditional statement loop switch case all everything we are going to explain in the next video or the as a practical videos about it